Yo, ho, ho, what's going on, everybody? This is Hunter. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today, I've got a treat for you. It's one of my favorite brands because it is one of the fanciest brands. It's the 2023 Riverstone 3950 FWK. So this is a front kitchen model. Here's the manufacturer sticker on it, GVWR 18750. Dry weight when it went across the scale at 16,213. So it is a big boy. It is definitely not a small camper. But this thing is pretty darn awesome. And it's getting a little bit windy, so I'm going to head right on inside. But if you guys like RV videos, if you guys please could consider hitting that like and subscribe button for me. I am really trying to hit 10,000 by the end of the year. And I would love, you know, any help that you could provide. So if you find any value in this, you know, help a brother out. But again, the 2023 Riverstone 3950 FWK. And since this is a front kitchen model, I figure I'll start just right up in the front, kind of work my way back. And then, you know, hopefully the outside if the wind dies down a little bit. But right when you walk in, this thing has the wow factor. It is absolutely beautiful. You know, just like all the Riverstones are, has different, you know, kind of textures or whatever you want to call it. I'm not too fancy, but it has different, um, Colors kind of bouncing off each other. You got the charcoal gray furniture. You have this optional stone flooring, which is beautiful. You got the wood block accents there up top. And then of course the nice light bright interior decor uh, that this customer chose. Absolutely beautiful. I love the front kitchen setup and I love this front kitchen setup in particular. Some other brands gets a little bit thin up here, but you got this nice size slide right up here, which gives you a little bit of you know, countertop space, you get plenty of storage. And then right up the front, you have this big, beautiful tinted window with your sink, your dishwasher, oven, and refrigerator. There's a lot going on on this. If you guys like front kitchen models, this is definitely gonna be one to put on your A-list for sure. I sold this to an absolutely wonderful, uh, you know, couple. Hope you guys are enjoying picking your grapes. Hope life gets a little bit easier for you. Heard the term, uh, Widow Grape, I think it was today, cracking up. Anyway, nice folks, nice folks, deserving of a camper like this. Uh, Riverstone, do the old ring test, because that's right, your boy has got married and he's still living high on life from that. Solid surface countertops all throughout. But check out all this room. Plenty of room to move around. You could have a couple people up here. You know, I know Thanksgiving's coming up, so you could put a turkey in there and have people working at different stations all around and not be too... Um, you know, kind of tied up, not walking all over each other. So I'll start over here on this slide. So you got yourself a window, the solid surface countertops. You also have uh, an outlet. You're going to notice you got your day shade and you got your night shade to get your Dracula on. And you have a ton of storage. This thing's pretty much just dedicated to counter space and storage. So right over here, you got all of that. And then down here, you have these two pull-out drawers, which are pretty nice. This is going to be the top for your sink, which can also double as a cutting board if you would like. And then you're going to notice they're not slamming shut. Those are those soft clothes. So basically, they'll stop right there and then go in. So you don't have to worry about slamming any of your fingers with the magnetic latch. So you got this little copper tab right here and then that right there. And then over here, underneath your countertop space, you're going to have six of these drawers, the top four being a little bit smaller than the bottom two. So that's what the top four are going to be looking like. Really nice depth to them. Those are even soft clothes as well. And then these two are a little bit bigger. And that is where this was. I was looking for this earlier. That's your tire pressure monitoring system. I'll show you that on the outside portion if we are lucky enough you know, to avoid the wind. But basically, these are on your tires. This is going to be your monitor. It's, it'll show you when you're driving down the road if you're at a risk of, you know, a blowout or a flat or something of like that. It's just a really nice safety feature to have that, you know, Riverstone is offering. So over here, not a slide here on this side, but it doesn't hurt anything. You get plenty of countertop space. Again, solid surface countertops. You also have the true tile backsplash. So, you know, you can hear it's a real true tile. You also have these wood block accents that work for, you know, some shelves for some storage. And while this does have the Firefly system, so that way you can control this all from a panel up at the front of the camper, 
Um, you do also have, you know, actual individual uh, controls for every single light. And any time that you see that little up and down arrow, I'll use this. So the ceiling, you can click it on, you know, and then, or off and then on. But then watch how this light will glow. And I'm simply just holding it down. They're sitting on dimmers. So you can make, you know, a nice kind of little light glow, you know, or you can make it, you know, as bright as possible. Um, so really cool how you can kind of change the, the mood of the camper just by doing that. And again, you can control them all manually, or you can do it with the Firefly system, which you can also link up onto your cell phone. They added on the dishwasher. Uh, don't need to go too much into that. You know, helps you out washing your dishes, makes life a little bit easier. You get a little bit of storage here underneath. Again, soft close. Plenty of countertop space with this big open window up front. And in the window, you're gonna have an outlet there and an outlet there. And then this also has day shade and night shade. Stainless steel undermounted sink. You have your smaller bowl right here and your larger bowl. Again, the cutting boards were in that first little drawer that I showed you. And then you have your high rise faucet doing your dishes. Right there, you got a little place you know, to store, uh, you know, your little cleaning brush. And then under here, you get plenty of storage. Actually, a lot of storage. Check that out. You know, that's pretty nice. It's definitely rare for a camper. Uh, but, you know, you can control uh, her control. You can store, you know, any of your cleaning supplies or even some stowaway items. But you also have some access to your plumbing, you know, if you need it. Two more of these little storage shelves here in the corner. So there's no wasted space. You also have this extremely fancy looking microwave. Now this thing just got in from the factory, so we haven't gone through it. We haven't cleaned it up, haven't prepped it or done anything quite yet, uh, but we will. That's why that styrofoam is in there. It's got a lot of fancy different, uh, you know, options in it too. Popcorn, slim fry, whatever that is. Yeah, convection, bake, roast, speed roast, speed bake, speed roast. It has one of the, or has the industry's largest oven, the Insignia. I'm a huge fan. If you guys have watched my videos before, you have the four stove top burners. And then check out all the space in that. Like I said, Thanksgiving is coming up and you can fit a turkey in that, no problemo. And then cook up all the fixings here, you know, up top. And again, real tile back. So right here is going to be your refrigerator. This is going to be a residential style refrigerator. The Samsung, this is one of the big boys. It's got the safety latch on right there. Let me do its, uh, you know, 80 turns there. I like to keep it really safe, <laughs> really safe and really secure. But I guess you never can be too careful. So you got the freezer portion right here, and this is all taped up, but you know, you got two drawers and then that folds out. So pretty nice. And then this top portion, this thing's definitely nicer than the one inside my house. But you got plenty of room. So if you're doing some full timing, you definitely have enough space for some groceries for an entire week, especially kind of a long weekend if this is going to be more of a traveling, you know, type unit. And if you guys are in the market for an RV, I am in a sales position here at RV Nation. And my contact information is down in the description. You'll find my text line and my email. I'd love to talk to you and share, uh, you know, we got some really competitive pricing. I'd love to talk to you and get the opportunity. Accent lighting down here underneath. So if you want to turn off all the lights, you get this nice ambient glow. Come up here, get a midnight snack. You know, that'd be nice. Little pull-out drawer. I would designate this as the junk drawer, I'm pretty sure. So that would fill up quick and I'd have a hard time closing it. And then right here, let me remove this. You have a little pull-out uh, with two different uh, trash cans. Maybe a trash and a recycling. This is going to be your solar charge controller, solid surface, solar charge controller, so that way you know you're harnessing the power of the sun. As you, uh, well, you probably don't know, um, I am doing this video purely off of the solar. So right now it's a cloudy, windy day out, but it's still powering up, you know, this entire camper, no problem. So that is a pretty nice feature to have, especially if you're doing maybe a little bit of boondocking, you don't want to turn on that, that generator. Outlets, and then a little bit more storage up here. And then as you swing it around, you got another window, again, with day and night shades, and it does open up, so you get a really nice cross breeze. You got a couple more outlets, so if you want to use this, you know, this kind of this perch area as whether it's a breakfast nook um, or, you know, if you want to sit down. I know a lot of people are traveling and working these days, 
sit down, set up a laptop, use the plugins how you would, and you can sit down, you know, with kind of a nice view of the TV and the fireplace. And uh, I think that'd be pretty nice. So two USB ports and two outlets. And then here, I'll go down to turn around and come back up. So right inside the door, you got that right there. A little bit of closet space for maybe a jacket or two with a little octopus friends. And then this one has a little bit of storage up here, but this is going to be more for, you know, kind of the control center. So you got, this is going to be your control for the fan, which is, <laughs> ah, sorry, our camera's working back against me. I was trying to lean back. Uh, but you got your fan right there, which again is controlled right here. I won't be doing that again. Your Truma Aqua Go. If you're not familiar, it's basically a very, very fancy way of getting your water into an RV. It's pretty much endless hot water. Really nice to have. And then right here, this is going to be your control panel. So I have this on the lights, um, but you know, you just kind of boom right there. And then also you can dim it just by holding down. But this is going to be your home screen. So light on, master. Uh, bedroom temperature, you know, all your tanks, where they're at, what their levels are, tank heaters, water pump, your electric, your HVAC system. So each room you can set to a different temperature and it'll kick on a little energy management system for you. So if you like to sleep a little cooler, maybe set that to 65. Then your living room and kitchen, you know, at 71, that'd be good. And then your slides, if you have a hard time reading, they're all color coded. So, you know, Opposite door slide, boom, yellow, yellow. So color coordinates it to where, making life a little bit easier for you. And then you got your different settings for your mobile app, your brightness, you can change the screen, you know, all that kind of good stuff. But if you guys get one, we do a full demo and walkthrough, teach you how to use everything on this. It'll be real nice and easy. Even though it's pretty straightforward, we still like to go over it with you. Right there, you can pause that and download the Myra app if you would like. But that's how you control everything from your cell phone. You also have all your hookups or all your... Uh, QR codes for, uh, you know, like your manuals and all that kind of good stuff. You got the steps. This is a good opportunity to show you the flooring, too. That's that optional stone flooring. Uh, it looks really, really nice. I like the woodblock accents there. You have another little storage part right there. And then you have your, your road, your central vac. Boom, you lift that up, put some dirt down in there, sucking it out, you're getting clean. You know, no problem. Pretty sturdy little handrail there and that's going to be your fuse box so if you have a fuse that blows that's where all that will be located and then that brings you into the living room so again this is the charcoal gray furniture looking really sharp with all this kind of light and bright it's nice to have something a little darker to kind of offset it i think it adds into you know the flow of the camper but this is a pull-out sofa so although this is traditionally more of a couple's coach you can definitely sleep you know an extra one to two uh, right there no problem it'll pull out you know, to about the middle right here. Um, yeah, yeah, so you can sleep a couple guests. And then this is going to be your power recliners. So you each side has a little USB, and then you can turn on uh, the lights in here for some accent lighting. So it'll be accent lighting here, accent lighting there, but since it's not plugged in, that portion will not run on the solar, you know, which is absolutely no problem. Just want to let you know that it's there. And the controls for it are going to be right here. So extend and retract outlet and then the controls for basically everything that you see here in this room including the hallway you have another window uh, again for more breeze day and night shades and then this slide so there's two slides here in the living room you have this one which has the sofa bunch of good windows and some storage and then on this side this is optional this person wanted a desk for a good little working space you can also put in another couch if you would prefer to have another couch but the desk definitely does seem to be a little bit more popular. So on the desk, you got a lot of good storage right in here. Uh, you also have, let me see. Yeah, you got an outlet. It's going to be right there. But both sides, left and right, are going to have the same storage side. So I'll show you this left side. Two of these here on the top. That's your welcoming packet from the manufacturer with your manuals. And then one large one here on the back or on the bottom. And that's the Furion S-Vision. So this is, has the four camera safety system on it. So there'll be a camera. Let's see if I can do it right there. Right here. One on the front right, one on the front left, and then one off the rear. So really nice to have. Pair that up with the tire pressure monitoring system. You really should have no problems on security. 
if you need to get your cords on through, you got that right there, so that way you can feed them through there. And then on both sides, again, they have these nice windows, so that way you can get a cross breeze going. They're all dual pane on this one, uh, dual pane tinted windows. This also doubles as an emergency exit, just like the opposite side. And then you do have a little bit of overhead storage here as well. And this will go all the way across in one piece. So again, the desk, you can get a couch to be exactly the same as this side if you want. The overhead storage on this side is gonna be the same as above the desk. The only thing you're changing is couch for desk. So decide you know, which way it is that you guys would like it. The dual opposing slides also give you huge open area for kind of that day mode when you're hanging out, maybe watching a movie on this absolutely massive TV. These are gonna be smart TVs as well. So they kind of went away with the old clunky kind of uh, you know, yesteryear, TV where you couldn't even put Netflix on there and they started putting smart TVs smart TV here smart TV in the room smart TV outside You know really nice. They also put on the gel JBL bleh, JBL sound bar um, So you can get this thing bumping there is a subwoofer which is underneath uh, The chair there really not necessary, uh, but I you know, it's nice to have I'm not gonna argue with it A little bit of storage here up underneath maybe put a DVD player and then you have this really nice, fancy-looking, massive fireplace. comes with a couple different modes. You have uh, red, you have orange, you have white, you have blue, 5,500 BTUs of heat. You can get this whole camper pretty much roasting off of that. So, you know, that'll be enough heat to really, you know, heat the entirety of the front end of this camper, you know, no problem. On a day like today, where it's about 60, 62 degrees, if you just want to turn that on, save some money on propane, there's really no need to use it you know, you might as well use that free electricity uh, from the campground. All right, now as we go back, this is the hallway. <laughs> Even the hallway does have the lights on dimmers, which is pretty nice. And I just noticed too, it looks like they changed the trim on that. They even went with the white trim for the 23s. So that's pretty good, kind of gels in with the rest of the decor. But here's gonna be the bathroom. Rework the look of that. And this is a full profile unit, and I'll show you what that means on the outside. Uh, but up here, you got a little place for some natural light. You also have a max air fan right there, you know, to kind of help uh, keep the airflow going. But they reworked the shower, that little dark gray kind of paneling right there. I think that looks really nice. They also have a bench uh, that flips out, so that way you can sit down, maybe shave your legs or relax. You got that Truma Aqua, Aqua Go, uh, you know, water heater, so you might as well you know, heat it up. If you don't know me, hello, I am Hunter. Boom, I love bowling. Crushed it last week, or this week. Bowled a 621. If you guys know me, uh, I do love my bowling. I'm trying to get my average up, you know, to well above 200, hopefully 225. Just crushed week, I think it's week eight out of 34. I'm on the journey. And even these are gonna be soft clothes. And if you guys have made it this far, if you guys don't mind hitting that like and subscribe button, you know, I would definitely appreciate you. Uh, they also changed the color of the countertops for the 23. So you got the black accent right here. And you'll notice the bowl, you know, is smooth. So that's a plus. You don't have to worry about, you know, cocking anything or doing any maintenance, you know, over the time, over the years. A couple outlets. And this is going to be the control for the Max Air fan, which I showed you. Underneath, you got a little bit of storage. You're going to have two of these. And then you got one larger one. You got accent lighting here up underneath. And then you got some access to your plumbing, a little garbage can, and some storage. And then, of course, the, uh, the old toilet ski porcelain. Or, like I said in my last video, the propane toilet. Got a couple good laughs for some people, so. <laughs> Uh, you know, you must sum up sometimes, but it's a porcelain toilet. Don't let it get it twisted. All right. Man, I can hear that wind rolling outside. That's okay. We'll figure it out. Got yourself a towel rack, hand towel, and then, uh, you know, a little TP holder. Yeah, pretty nice bathroom. Fancy, fancy. And I do like to have the one step up right here. You got that accent, you know, just like going into the kitchen, but they also put on the little night light. Again, show you off that optional 
stone flooring looking all sharp. And then come into the bedroom. Really nice size bedroom. I love the decor. The backdrop is looking cool. Whatever you want to call that. Um, you know, it's just looking super, super nice. And then let me lift this up. And it's on a strut. But you got a little bit of storage right here. That's for the, um, you know, if you want two additional chairs, uh, you got that. So you can put it up kind of at that bar. Um, yeah, do your thing. Oh. Both to the left and to the right of the bed, you're going to see you have USBs and outlets. USBs and outlets. They did order the cadet wall heater. So in with the electric fireplace up in the living room and then this, really no need to use any propane for the heat unless you're camping in some real, real cold weather. Give you a nice little view of that. We even set up the pillows all fancy for you. Window for a cross breeze window for a cross breeze and then to the left and to the right you got this little countertop and then you just have a little bit of storage i'd probably put a couple books or something in there you know that's me personally across from the bed you have another jensen smart tv an emergency exit that does open up so that way you can get a nice little breeze the manual controls for the lighting and then you have this dresser with the accent lighting here up underneath. Some countertop space. Both of these are going to be the same. And then the bottom two are going to be the same as well. And then this does have, you know, the solar on board sticker. I know I told you it's running on the solar, but if you guys want to check that out, you're more than happy to, uh, more than welcome to kind of pause it and read what that's all about. Got another outlet right here. You also have the day shade and the night shade again. And this customer did order it with the washer and dryer. So let's cross our fingers and hope it's in there. Yep, sure is. So if you guys are going to be using it and wanting to do, you know, some laundry on the road, there you go. And I am not agitated on this. They changed it. It used to be the King Wi-Fi. Now it's the Travel Fi. Looks like it's more fancy because you got the 2.4, the 5 gigabytes. I'd assume it's ready, pretty much plug and play. You just got to get service from like a cell phone company. But I'm not positive. Maybe I'll put something down in the description of that. Uh, but you got a nice little closet in here with a rack or a bar uh, for some hanging items. And then you got a shelf, you know, maybe for shoes or some other little knickknack items. Then you got another little dresser right in here. Top one. And then the bottom two are a little bit larger show you what this looks like all closed up looking good with that kind of that black glass look it's pretty sharp and then up above again you got storage 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 but i think that about does it here for the inside portion of this tour if you guys don't mind hitting that like and subscribe button for me i would uh, greatly appreciate it and uh, yeah let me give you one more little look around ski around the inside and then we'll head on uh, outside and we'll see if we can do much of a tour there, you know, if the weather lets us. So again, desk, optional sofa, storage up ahead or up above, storage, the sofa, recliner, smart TV with the fireplace. And then, of course, oh, you got your fan and then you have this lovely, lovely, lovely front kitchen. All right, let's see what we're working with. A little windy, not terrible, not terrible at all. I think we could probably get something done. Maybe I'll spend like three, four minutes or something, four or five, four or five. Outside TV, even this TV is going to be a smart TV. It's held up by the strut right here. So you can just close that or you can, you know, it brings itself pretty much up. Um, frameless windows, dual pane and tinted. You also have a massive awning, which things like the specifications, tank size, awning size, length, weight, that'll all be in the description of the camper. But there is an LED strip running around there uh, to get some good light. You also have the solid entry steps. And what I like about these is they're you know, extremely lightweight. And let's just say if you accidentally let go of it, if you're carrying something, you know, it won't fall down and just bonk your head. You know, it actually has a little bit of stability in and of itself. You got yourself your pass-through storage right here. 
they also put on the, you know, the kind of the rubber, um, so you can kind of like tear it up a little bit. You can throw some stuff in there, be a little bit rougher. It's the back end of your central vac, and that's going to be your outlet. Let me turn on the light here. It's got the hook bolt, not welded, so it's going to be like a similar construction of like, I think like planes use that and stuff. It's just a way of kind of absorbing, uh, you know, that road vibration as you're going, but also maintaining the structural integrity of the camper. You know, so that's always a plus. Dual big boy propane tanks. And these are all sla slam latch doors. Six point hydraulic auto leveling. And I'll show you this right here. And then we'll go around and then probably meet back up in the front. But so the four camera safety system, one there, one on this side, one on the other side, and then one up the rear. But this is what it's, you know, looking like right there. So that's the Furion. You get that seven inch screen. So basically while you're driving, you know, that's going to be your view. Obviously the slide's going to be closed, but it really helps you, you know, for when you're uh, changing lanes and things like that. It's just a really nice safety feature to have, especially if it's something that, you know, you might think that uh, you find some value in and you can afford it. Dual axle. Needs a little bit of a clean job under here, but they upgraded uh, the suspension. Couple outlets. And then what I do like about Riverstone, what they're doing too, is they got away from the, um, well, they never really did, but other RV companies, they have those chintzy little, you know, kind of plastic clips. These are all nice magnetic latches. And then you got a couple lights, more storage that goes all the way through. And again, slam latch doors. It is beautiful out. That is for sure. Man, I'm going to miss days like these. You get the winter coming, it just gets blah out. You got your hitch with a 300 pound rating. Now that way when you're driving down the road, maybe you can put on like a storage rack. Oh, bummer. That is locked, but basically storage back there, real good storage. Wish I would have done that prior. Sorry guys. That's the back end of the four camera safety system. So what allows you to see behind you. It also has distance markers, you know, hash marks. So that way you can see, you know, just how far another car is behind you. You also have a ladder that goes up to the top of your fully walkable roof. That way you can check all your maintenance. Uh, one thing I do enjoy that they do as well is they angle the ladder as well. So that way it makes it just a little bit easier to get up, you know, so you grab here, then you put your foot, you know, it's kind of a more of a natural motion, you know, to climb up a ladder, something small just to think about. They added on the slide toppers on this. Uh, so slide topper is going to be that right there. Uh, so that way it keeps all the debris off the top of your slides. Cord reel. Right in there, power cord reel, so you don't have to do too much work. More storage that goes all the way across. I'll show you up here underneath. <sighs> Got your spare tire, and you can see it's all buttoned up. You know, ready for the harsh environment for the winter. Keeps everything really nice and uh, nice and warm and toasty under there. This is going to be where all your connections are. So your sewer water connection, wastewater holding tank, galley tank, freshwater drain. You know, all of that in a convenient place, all right next to each other. Back end of the hot water heater. Back end of the pass-through storage. It's also going to be where you control your leveling system. Low point drain, battery disconnect, you know, all that good stuff. And then right here is going to be a battery tray. So if you want, you can put up to four batteries on this uh, with the tray. And then they just pull out. So you push these yellow tabs. Uh, it's a little hard to do with a uh, camera in my hand, but pulls out a little bit to give you a little bit easier access. And then then right there, generator prepped. Got all your hydraulic stuff. Bada bing bada boom. And then the Rotoflex, the Kurt Rotoflex, a little bit more of a comfortable ride when you're driving. This thing actually flexes with you, helps absorb some of that chucking and bucking, you know, while you're driving down the road. 
Uh, but again, this was the 2023 Riverstone 3950 FWK. My name is Hunter. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope to see you around next time. See ya. Beauty, beauty, beauty. Maybe someday. I'll get you. See ya.